What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. So, Adi Boom is pushing real hard to try to get a battle with Surf. Let me scrap that. Take that back. I'm not going to say he pushing real hard. But that's a battle that he definitely got his eyes set on that he's trying to get. I just think he's going about it the wrong way in order to get it. We know that a lot of speculation was surrounding Surf and the ghostwriting that uh, allegedly came out against him that Adi Boom was actually his secret ghostwriter. Adi Boom, however, was incarcerated at the time all these allegations came out. So um, it was unclear whether or not it was true or not, seeing that he was absent from the battle rap community to give um, to give his take on whether or not what was being said about him was true or not. Well, since his release, he had did a he had did an appearance on the Mav Hoffa, uh, in my own expert opinion. And that question came up. Let's listen to it. Y'all know I can't use none of that footage. But we definitely saw it. <laughs> I can on my Patreon. Matter of fact, go to my Patreon, roll the footage. That's definitely a real show where I actually roll the footage and go through things. Well, check this out, though. Um, he was asked the question. He was very passive about answering it when he was asked, did you write for serve? All he said was, he know we're going to cross those roads when we do, and we're going to talk about some things. We got some things to talk about. Adi Boom, I'm sorry, I got to give you this. No, 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 Adi Boom. You're going about things the wrong way. That is not how you're going to get a battle from Tsunami Surf. If you are alleged, allegedly his ghostwriter, that's how you get the battle. You're supposed to be saying that if it's true. Yeah, I was his ghost writer. He know I was his ghost writer. I helped him in this battle, this battle, this battle. Matter of fact, y'all remember this line? I wrote that. That was with my lines. I wrote that. Y'all remember this battle? I did that. He know that. That's why ever since I've been gone, he been losing battles. Because he haven't been as good as he is. Uh, uh, as he was since I've been gone. So he know that. And that's why he won't stand in front of me. This why he won't battle me. This why he ducking me. This why he don't want y'all to know the truth. Because he know I'm going to expose him on being the one that actually been writing for him. That made y'all like him. See that's how you got to sell it. You When you sell it. You got to put everything in it brother. Like cooking a pot of gumbo. You can't leave nothing out. You got to hit him with everything. To to uh, put a dark cloud on him to now make the battle rap community be like, hold on, wait. Man, that's true. See, because now he have to prove himself apart from you. See the difference? The way you're going about it, it's not going to work. It's not going to get there the way you're going about it. Trying to be like, he know what's up. Yeah, he know he got to see me. He know, that's not going to do it. Surf is a master when it comes to deception and manipulation and he definitely can read between the lines and know when people was begging for an opportunity he know that his name brings money he know that whoever he choose the battle is being selected is being selected by no other than him he like to pick his own battles you have to change the narrative when dealing with him when dealing with him you have to make the people demand you you have to get the people on your side. And how do you get the people on your side? By opening up our understanding to the history behind the relationship. Once we understand the history behind the relationship, now it draws an awareness where we reaching out to him on Twitter, Instagram, because he like going live and it's going to come up. Hey, you care to talk about them allegations? 
Is it true that man wrote for you for real? Is it true that part when you said this in the Hitman battle came from him? Is it true that part you said in the Conceited battle that came from him too? Can you really beat him saying that he not writing for you no more? You're not going to talk about this? You're not going to address it? It's going to frustrate him. Especially when, you know, the battle rap community don't let up. When we want answers, we're going to keep on, keep on poking and poking and poking until we get answers. You're going about things the wrong way. You're trying to be too nice, too passive, too humble when dealing with a guy that's known to be arrogant, prideful, cocky, disrespectful, think he better than everybody else. That ain't going to get it. Matter of fact, that's a sign of weakness when it comes to him. That's a sign of weakness when it comes to him. So if you was his ghostwriter... If you was his ghostwriter, these are the things you're supposed to be saying. And you're supposed to be letting it be known he ain't nothing without me. Matter of fact, and if y'all think he, he good just like I was writing for him, he got somebody else writing for him too. Make no mistake about it. There's somebody else writing for him too. I went to prison. I'm pretty sure somebody else writing for him right now. He ain't as good as he say he is. That's why he won't take me. Let's see how good he is. Let's see how he measure up against my pen. Let's see him. See, that's when you wake him up. He don't like that stain on him, and he gonna want to get it off. That's when you get that battle. You have to, do, you have to, you have to wake the sleeping giant, and you got to keep poking at him, keep poking at him, till he acknowledge you and want to do something about it. That's how you get him. And then the fans gonna be demanding it, and he can't, and it's only so long he can duck. But the way you going, he could, he could play you off three, four. Three, four, five more years. He ain't never got to see you the way you going about things. So you got to use your wisdom and understand how to get battles done. How to get battles done. And you need to go public on them. You need to go on Math Hop in my own opinion and tell the truth. You need to go on some of these hip hop is reels and 15 minutes of fame. You need to tell them it's true. You need to go on Black Compass. You need to tell these brothers what's really going on and let the word get out. If it's true. Now. Look, even if it's even if it's not true, you want the battle, taint them. That's what you do. That'll make them mad too. Like, man, he lying. Man, he lying. He ain't writing nothing for me. Why you keep on saying that? Okay, okay, I'm gonna fix him. I'm gonna prove he lying. I'm gonna prove he lying. See, that'll get him too. That'll get him too. <laughs> or you could just politely give in, ask the man to battle you. Good luck on that one, <laughs> cause he don't really he don't really take battles like that. Usually the battles he take is when guys got a big name for themselves and they making things happen. I would give him his credit on that. I would give him his credit on that. He do take big names. He do take guys that's actually on fire and making a lot of noise. I do got to give him credit on that, man. It's a lot of things we could throw shade on him on, but it's a lot of things I do respect him about. If you making any type of noise and you popping, he coming after you. He coming after you, and he's not afraid. I'm going to say that to him. I'm going to say that about him, too. He's not afraid to take a loss. He's not afraid to take a loss, and he's going to come in there swinging. Surf is going to come in there swinging. I can say that about him, too. Surf, gonna come in there. Surf can be a great battle rapper if he actually – um, locked in and really, really, if he actually locked in and really, really just locked in, Surf could be a, 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 a great battle rapper. Surf could be a great battle rapper. But um, <laughs> that's how you get that battle done, Ice Bone, man. You got to be more, you got to be more direct with him. You have to really put a dark shadow on him. You got to really... Let the people see him in a different light. You, when you come at him, you can't play with him. You can't play with him. Not somebody like him. He 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 talks too good. And with that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. And ain't my judgment. That's some questions it's yours. Hit the link in the description box, man. Follow me on my Patreon, man. I just dropped like how many? Seven, seven. Um. Seven videos on my Patreon today. I just dropped like seven. Um, so join the Patreon. Um, real Underhill Certified Gives available to everybody that's real. So if you're real, 
Call me at 414-235-6760 if you could pass the graining and the testing. You know what I'm saying? You could uh, order the real unhit certified gift. Shouts out to everybody that's been ordering, man. Appreciate all the love and support. Also, my sponsor, Strict Dad Foundation, man. Click the links in the description box, man. Follow on the uh, Facebook page. Follow on the Instagram page. The GoFundMe is available if you want to uh, be a part of helping to save and change somebody's life, man, to help better our youth, to keep them from going to prisons and stopping these young brothers, man, from going to a graveyard at an early age and helping to reconcile and rebuild families and just giving opportunities to fathers and children to actually be more re responsible in, soci in our society and be a part of something different. Be a part of something different for a change. Be a blessing to somebody else. Um, with that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. Adi Boom. You're not going to get that battle that way, brother. You want that battle, brother. You got to be more strong, strong. You got to be more direct. You got to be more aggressive at what you do. You really, really have to... You have to put that put that dark shadow on him, man. You you have to use use that weapon you got. That's actually your advantage for landing that battle. It's a lot of people speculating you ghost writ for surf. Use that to get what you want. Use that to get what you want. It's more so people that will believe you than not believe you. It's more people that will believe you than people who won't believe you. Use that to your advantage, brother. That's how you get that battle. And let it be known to the battle rap community. Yep, I definitely wrote for him. He know it. Such and such know it. Such and such know it. Point out those things. Even if, look, even if they not true. Take out some of his most powerful things he been known for. <laughs> That's going to piss him off. <laughs> He gonna be so pissed off. He gonna want to shoot you for real. But he definitely gonna want to get some get back and put you on that stage and try to make it seem like it ain't real. And that's what you do when you get on that stage. Stage when you know it ain't real. See, boy, y'all gotta be strategic with this. If it ain't real and I get on the stage with him, you know what I say to him soon I'm on the stage? You go first and be like, yeah. You that scared of me, I had to lie and say I ghost rape for you to get you on top of this day when he probably didn't wrote his rounds trying to prove to you you didn't ghost right. You took all that from him. I had to lie to get you on this stage because you that scared of me to say that I ghost rape for you when I didn't. Hey, everybody, I ain't ghost right for this nigga. But this is what I had to say to get him here because he ducked pain. He ducked, you know what I'm saying? And then that's when you get to going in on him. Then they like, dang, that's when you get to doing it. So then he got the rounds already written trying to prove you ain't ghost right for him. You just killed him in the first round. You took all that away. You just took all that away. So if I'm you, <laughs> I go through his best lines. You know what I'm saying? Take that away. Good. Because the real shooter's still in my hood. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Y'all think he's got Brooklyn Nets? Right. <laughs> he took him out of New Jersey. Took the Nets out of New Jersey to Brooklyn, but the best shooters in my hood. Yeah, get him on that. <laughs> yeah, I wrote that. The uh, Smack China Raw. Smack China Raw, brother. I wrote that too. <laughs> See, that's how you get him. I still, I still get up to the Tar Heels. I wrote that too. <laughs> he going to be mad. Oh. You know what else I wrote? A lot of transactions at my mama's house. I wrote that too. <laughs> uh, what's the other song? Oh, you know what else I wrote? It's a cold game that we play. I'm just saying that somebody gonna lose. With that stone, then that on the other side of town. Word back home to tell a new friend. Now tell me what. Change, yeah. Tell me what change, what change? It's a cold game that we play. And I'm just saying that somebody gon' lose with that stone and that on the other side of the road. Word back home, find a new friend. Now tell me what change.
That's actually me on the hook, y'all. Y'all didn't know that? I just let the Mexican man... <laughs> I let the Mexican man take the part. But that's actually... That's actually my voice. Y'all know how they do in the music industry. Use my voice but put somebody younger on it because he Hispanic, so they trying to go... Uh, 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 they trying to cross over to multi-diversity to get them to sell more records. But that's definitely... That's me. That That's not me. It's a cold game that we playing. I'm just saying that somebody gonna lose. We're throwing it. I'm trying to remember because... I just write it and get it out of here. When we're back home, you got a new friend. Now tell me what changed. See, that Mexican can't get, that Mexican can't go live and say that without the auto tune behind him. <laughs> yeah, me and Adi Boone wrote a lot of that stuff, man. Me and Adi Boone, we responsible for that. That He know what we did. Adi Boone writing battles. I write the music. I all oh, That's me. <laughs> Except for the wax stuff. The wax stuff, all him. I had nothing to do with that. I'm definitely going to give him credit for that. But everything that you like that's fire on them tracks, that's me. I, that's all me. The Funk Flex Freestyles, the I-90. That's me. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my job unless a question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth.